items 7 this and 7A, the Lamb County Jail refurbished with showers pod A, the bids and the contract. Mr. Clay. Uh, yes, sir. Lambs County solicited bids for refurbishing the showers and housing pod A at the Lambs County Jail. A mandatory pre-bid meeting was held on November 20th, 2014 at the jail. Bids were opened publicly on December 2nd, 2014, and the following contractors submitted bids. <coughs> Kettleman Construction, $168,458 and 150 days to complete the project. William Powell Construction, $132,000 and 45 days to the project. Uh, a simple note for A, B, and C on the 7, A, B, and C. The architect, as of this morning, was still finishing up the uh, AIA contracts, and I will have those for you to review before tomorrow night's meeting. Any questions, Mr. McClellan? Uh, just looking at the difference in the amount of days, is there any particular reason there's such a difference in the amount of days that to, 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 I guess, be contracted to do it? Uh, we didn't ask as far as the, the, the days. I can find out. Uh, typically, it might have to deal with workload uh, and when they can get started on a project or who they've got as their subcontractor doing the work. Also, I, I was wondering, uh, I know uh, at, at one point in time that the goal was to, you know, have the new jail and not use the, the old jail. I guess the, the goal now is to utilize to make the old jail fully functional now. That's right. Well, it, the, uh, Captain Clinton's here on another note, and he can answer that question better for you. Uh, there is a some phases in the contract. I mean, in the uh, plan for the jail, and eventually the plan is to utilize all the new jail. But currently. The new parts of it is full, and Captain Clifton and the jail have to utilize pods A and B. Yeah, I recall that because we, we, we just had some discussions on the, uh, before just about how it's tied into our medical costs with the jail, and the more inmates you have, the whole shebang. But I appreciate this yes, uh, report. Okay. All right. Uh, any, any other questions? Chen. Um, both the origin knives, B and C, or A and B, I'm sorry, are you using the same architect that's name on both? Yes, sir. Who is that? IPG. Any other questions? Okay, let's move on to 7B. Yes. Uh, this is for a new roof for housing pod A. Uh, Lowndes County solicited bids for a new roof for housing pod A at the Lowndes County Jail. A mandatory pre-bid meeting was held on November 20th, 2014 at the jail. Bids were opened publicly on December 2nd, 2014, and the following contractors submitted bids. Uh, Mike Carroll Roofing, $411,422 in 120 days. Kellerman Construction, $202,498 in 150 days. And Quillian Powell Construction, $176,500 in 135 days. Any questions for Mr. McClellan? No, Mr. Chairman, I have, have a question for uh, Joe. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, did the Splash 6 still have like a million dollars, right, for the, for the jail? Uh, about a million dollars, that's what we're talking it's about. A little less, it's a little less than that, but the, that is where the uh, funds for this project are coming. And that was left over from uh, the fixing of the first, I mean, the From, the, from the construction of the, of the new facility, <clears throat> that's correct. Okay, thank you. Agenda item 7C is the FY 2013 CBBG Lowndes County Second Harvest Renovation Project Bids and Contract. Yes, sir. Lowndes County solicited bids for the FY 2013 CDBG Lowndes County Second Harvest Renovation Project. A mandatory pre bid meeting was held on November 18, 2014, at the Second Harvest Facility. Bids were opened publicly on December 2, 2014. The apparent low bidder was over budget, so with the approval of DCA, the architect and owner value engineered the project with the apparent low bidder. The following contractors submitted bids. Queen Powell Construction, $819,800. PDC Construction Company, $797,900. And Kellerman Construction, $795,000. 
Uh, once bioengineering was complete uh, between the owner and architect and contractor, uh, they got the price down to $468,629.30. Any questions for Mr. Buck? What is value engineering? Uh, typically when a project comes in under budget, they have to go in and basically scale back the project. Uh, take items out, uh, not build certain items. And, and in this case, the grant was only for a certain amount just under $500,000. The, owner, the owner's in charge on CDBG. Uh, he hired this architect uh, and, uh, and ran the architectural plans of what he wanted done. And we helped manage that. Uh, but the bids came in quite a bit over, so they had to scale back some items. Well, they sacrificed the quality. No, sir. Uh, one, of the, one of the issues with DCA is they cannot sacrifice certain items. One of them is the people they serve. Any other questions? Chad, you answered part of mine because I noticed they had received a grant through a South Georgia Regional Commission grant at 532000 something like that. Uh, but I guess my additional question was did, did everyone else have an opportunity to submit a value engineer uh, bid? Uh, no, sir. They got approval from DCA to go with the low bid contract. I guess where they made aware that yes. those adjustments had to be made and then yes. another bid. They did, well, they did not submit another bid. Uh, these bids came in and then they value engineered with the low bid, the initial low bidder that came in. Oh, so so they, once they received all the bids, they just said, well, we can do without this and this, and if we subtract those certain items. Right. Okay, so they went that route versus rebidding it. That's right. Any other questions? Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Spider.